The reality is that people are living in the comforts of the environment, having everything that they needed to survive. And now you come with an investment, which government is pushing as an agenda for development. Here are three stories, unfiltered, of people affected by mining activities. In 2002, Côte d'Ivoire broke out in a civil war. Sometimes you need to understand the pain before you find the cure. People that lose their land through the oil and gas activities. The companies are obliged to provide alternative livelihoods. The challenge we have as government in the gold mining areas of the country is purely nothing as a language challenge. Sometimes you need to know the truth before you expose the lies. Leveraging on the social media platform, engaging policy makers and our government, and most importantly, our mass number of young people who have been able to tell and teach the people how to hold government accountable. In Ghana, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, across Africa, and indeed across the world, citizens who some may see as powerless are showing that within each of us is the ability to make great change and create the future they dream of.